curfew has been lifted. The murderer has been caught, and the assassin has been dispatched by the champion of the king. Yeah. My horses are... Even with the alchemists camped here in the mill, I can still get plenty done. Speaking of, need any... Seeking potions and... Can't resist much longer.
regret the day I ever involved myself with these Red Rook bastards. By the eight, this ends here. We could use the help. These damned Red Rooks. They destroyed my town, and now they're trying to take over Crosswitch. I made a vow. I will have my revenge. I'm going to rally the people of Crosswitch to take back their town. The townsfolk are scared. If they stick their necks out, they end up as slaves in the mines. Or worse. We need the support of the town council. The few that haven't been dragged off to the mines need to show the people how to stand up to these curs. We need the support of the town council. Without them, the rest of the townsfolk will be too afraid to fight back. Of course. I'll answer what I can. Sternus Gelves. He's the real threat. Without him, the Red Rooks are just disorganized thugs looking for pockets to pick and purses to snatch. It was his idea to take over Crosswitch. He's building an empire here. The most prominent of the remaining counselors are counselors Virgil, Donella, and Theodore. Look for them around town and convince them to help us. Or we're finished before we even get started. So many people. They died when the Bloodthorn cult devastated Eaglesbrook. In return for my cooperation, the Red Rooks promised to protect my father and the people of Eaglesbrook from the Bloodthorns. They lied. For that, they need to pay. Someone has to stand up to these Red Rook villains! Did you meet with Tamian and Selen? He's got the right idea. Time to take back this town. The Red Rook and forces have threatened, extorted, or beaten us at every turn. They claim it's for our own protection, but they just want our gold. They're not even honest about their thievery. I say it's time to fight back. That's what I wanted to hear. If you stand up to those greedy bastards, it will show the rest of the town that we can take back Crosswitch. too soon. This town belongs to the Red Rooks now. Did you teach those Red Rooks a lesson? I don't know what happened to us. We're mountain folk and miners. We shouldn't be so easily cowed. You've given us back our courage. Thank you.
They killed Asif. They gave Gelves everything he demanded to keep the townsfolk safe, even surrendered his own house. They killed Asif anyway, our beloved mayor. They killed him in cold blood. Weren't you listening? They killed him. First they ran the watch out of town, then they took over our businesses. Now they murdered the mayor. They extort, threaten, and murder to their heart's content. And no one can stop them. Are you mad? Everyone who tried is either dead or enslaved in the mines. We can't win. The Red Rooks are too powerful. I just lost my best friend. I don't want to lose anyone else. You... didn't even know him. You... No, you're right. Hesif wasn't a soldier. But he was a strategist. He was trying to work around these bastards. The least I can do is continue what he started. I'll do whatever Selen asks. You'll die for interfering with the Red Rooks. Blessed Mara, why is this happening? What did we do to deserve this trouble? You better go. They'll be back at any moment to demand more gold from me. Are you mad? Selen wants the people to rise up and fight. That would be suicide. Still, the Red Rooks harass me every day, demanding more and more gold. Oh no, I think I hear them now. You probably think I'm just foolish, imagining red rooks around every corner. But those nasty bandits are rude, greedy, and dangerous. I don't want to end up poor and destitute. Your willingness to help shames me. You're right. I must be strong if we are ever to feel safe again. I'll find a way to help you and Selen. I can spread the word that we're going to fight back. Another Red Rook dog barking for its masters? I've got bad news for you, Hound. I'm fed up. Whatever you want, the answer is no. Oh? Well, why didn't you say so? The Red Rooks took over my mine. They're forcing the miners to work until they drop. You want to stop the Red Rooks? How about running them through with a sword? That'd be damn useful. I'm not sure I entirely trust that young fellow. But standing around doing nothing doesn't sit well with me either. I'm not much use in a battle, but I can spread the word. We'll raise an army to deal with these red rooks. Let Selen know I'm with him. We'll stick a hot poker in the backside of that pompous Sternus Gelves and the rest of his beef-witted red rooks. and some bad news. The good news is that the people have begun to rally around the idea of resisting the Red Rooks. The bad news is the Red Rooks have taken notice. This is just the thing we need to inspire the people. Now the Resistance can get to work on getting rid of the Red Rooks. Anyone who stands up to Sternus Gelves ends up in the Crosswitch Mines. He works his prisoners to death down there. We need to close the mines and take that resource away from the Red Rooks. The Red Rooks took control of the mines when they arrived. They worked the miners night and day. And they also used the mines as a prison for anyone who causes trouble. Counselor Leah, Smith Suriel, and Len the Innkeeper were all sent into the mines. That would be perfect. 
If you can free Len, Suriel, and Counselor Leah, the entire town will gain confidence. Let them know we're organizing. Maybe help some of the miners as well. Then meet me behind the inn when you're finished. Talk to any miners you can get close to without arousing suspicion. Let them know we're organizing. Or just kill the red rooks in the mine. The miners will try to escape if you clear a path for them. Your actions will raise the town's morale, I'm sure of it. I heard you spoke to Marenter Gent. That means we'll soon have more strong hands to help us oust these black-hearted rogues. I'm getting out of here. I've got a lot to do here. I'm getting out of here. If Selen's organizing a revolt, I'm in. The Red Rooks will pay for what they've done here. Too much to do in too little time. I'm getting out of here. Plan. I'll go help him. I'm getting 
getting out of here. and I'd join him when the Red Rooks captured me. It's time to finish what I started. I've heard your praises from a number of rescued miners. Well done. Blaze? Dead? That's good news. I've sent some of the miners to Counselor Virgil to recover. As soon as they're able, they'll return to the mine and clear out the rest of the Red Rooks. Well done, my friend. I've heard your praise. Blaze, it's time. The people of Crosswitch have taken up arms and are ready to retake their town. But first, Sternus Gelves must die. He's taken over the mayor's house. Since the resistance started, he never leaves the place. You'll have to fight through his personal guards to reach him. Fortunately, you'll have some help if you want. The resistance has grown thanks to you. If you want help, use this whistle in front of the mayor's house. Anyone nearby will come to help. Find me when Gelves is finished. Meanwhile, we'll start removing the rooks out here. We've got them on edge.
Defeat me. Thanks to your efforts, order and peace are restored. Crosswitch will be back to normal in no time. At last, Sternus Gelves has paid for his crimes against Crosswitch, Eaglesbrook, and my family. This town and I owe you for that. Thanks to your at last. Time for me to head back to the mine. We'll take care of any red rook stupid enough to stick around. <laughs> we need to make plans. This sort of thing must never happen to Crosswitch again. Perhaps I could help you with that. I was rather hoping you'd say that. Come, we should get started right away.